Welcome back. In this video, we'll be making a smiley um, using some negative parts. Okay, so the first piece we want to add is a cylinder. We're going to use that as the base. So go ahead and click on part in the home menu and insert a cylinder. Okay, move it a little closer using the move button. Okay, now let, let's change the color first. Let's make this a yellow. Okay, now uh, the thing is right now this cylinder is on its side if you'll see and what we want to do is we want to rotate it so that it's pointing straight up and so we can do that using the rotate button and I have I have the setting right now um, rotate uh, snap to grid is on with 45 degrees here in the model menu okay and so then if I turn on the if I select it and rotate it I can rotate it that way and then using the blue ring this way and now it's pointing straight up and down now that it's um, now that it's in the right direction we need to change the size so let me go back over here oh, hold on okay so let's um, let's go to the properties window and let's change the size of this thing so instead of four one one, let's try let's try one twelve twelve. Okay, and uh, you'll notice that the um, the axes, like this red axis, the red um, arrows are now pointing up and down. Watch, let me move the camera so you can see this. Yeah, so the red arrow is actually now going up and down. And that's the X direction, but because we rotated our piece, these um, arrows no longer match the arrows in the view selector, but they still match the sizes here in the properties window. Okay, so now we've got, we've got a good size for this smiley, and now we have to make the parts that we're gonna use to cut out the eyes and the mouth. Um, okay, and so for the for the eyes, I'm just going to use spheres. I'll get some spheres here. And I'll make these white. Okay. And that's too big. Let's make the size. Let's try a two. Let's see how big a two is. Uh, it's too small. Let's try a three. Yeah, three is good. Okay. Um, so remember to, uh, I always forget, remember to anchor your pieces. And let's go ahead and position this eyeball kind of where we want it. And so you'll notice that I have collisions off over here. And also in the model menu, I have the move snap to grid off as well. Okay. Okay, so um, let's check the position of this first eye. Make sure it's good. And you also want to make sure that it's um, going all the way through. And it is. Um, Maybe more in the middle. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is a, another good chance to practice moving the camera. So I think that's about right for this eye. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. So um, Control D or the duplicate key or Control C, Control V, copy paste, however you want to. You can even right click on this and copy it or duplicate it through that menu as well. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna do Control D. Then I'm gonna move that other eye over a little bit. And again, you wanna check the position for this. Um, and a good, a good view is the top-down view, um, even though it's upside down. That's good. Actually, that, that gives the best the best view to check that everything's aligned. And that, that looks good. So we have two eyes now, <clears throat> and we need a mouth. And you could definitely, you know, make a curved mouth, but I'm just going to use a cylinder, I mean, a, a, a block to make the mouth. Um, you could do any shape you want for this. Okay, that's about right. Let me see. Yeah, that looks, okay, maybe a little bit more to the left. 
Okay, that looks. Now let's um that looks good. Now let's go ahead and make sure that it's going all the way through our piece and it is not. We need to make this bigger along the green arrow direction, which is the Y. So we go over to the properties window and we make the Y, let's make it, I don't know, let's try a three. That's good. And then just move it down so that it's all the way through, all the way through the piece. Okay, so we've um, actually finished this. All we have to do now is make our parts negative and then use the union. Okay, so let's go ahead and select all of these. And again, you should have, I should have uh, named this, so I should have called this smiley base. And then this part, I, whoops. And the other one, I as well. And then the last one, mouth. Okay, so I renamed all the parts. Um, these are gonna get renamed here in a second anyway, but again, just good practice to name everything as you're making um, your game. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go over to the model menu. And we're gonna use this negate button again. Okay, so um, you can do this individually. You can click on each of the parts and hit negate. That is fine. Okay, so now I have three negative parts and my base. So let me go ahead and select everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my base and the three negative parts, and then I'm going to hit the union button right here. And when I do that, it cuts out the holes and I have my smiley. And finally, I'll go ahead and rename this and <clears throat> you can save this to your toolbox. Okay, so I've renamed it to smiley. And now what I wanna do is right click and save, whoops, hit the wrong one. Right click and save to Roblox. Okay, so you would just give this a name and either turn on copying to let other people use your part or turn it off and then hit submit. Um, I'm not gonna save this one, but you can do that if you like. Okay, and that is our smiley. Um, and let's test it. Let's make sure this works. Maybe make a few copies before we move on. Okay, so let's uh, let's make a copy of this one. Let me turn collisions on so that it'll make the copy on top of the original. Duplicate and then move. Duplicate and then move. And let's test it. Let's make sure that we can hop on these smileys. Looks good. And if you make the holes big enough, you can actually fall through them, but I don't think I've made these holes big enough. Okay. And they work. And they look good. Okay. Let me go ahead and stop this. And that's it for this lesson. Uh, pretty simple shape. Uh, all we did was cut out three holes from a cylinder. Got some more practice with all of this. In the next video, we'll make a domino. I'll see you then.